Now, uh, sticking with our main theme, the cost of living crisis and the employment situation, but here's a twist. How can we help young folk, as Digby Jones was saying earlier on, to find the right job and do something that they'll really enjoy that will also pay their bills? Well, my next guest runs a brand new careers advice app to help students get into the right career. With four in five teachers saying that teacher training, that's when they do their PGCE after they've got their degree in a Bachelor of Education or whatever it might be, the teacher training bit simply didn't equip them to give careers advice. So it increasingly falls on universities and colleges to do that job. My guest says that one of the biggest problems is that students don't know what there is out there. And that guest is Dr Alex Blur from the excellent Bournemouth University, Access and Participation Manager at the Arts University, to give it its proper name, in Bournemouth, where I'm delighted to say one of my nieces attended and really rated it very very highly and she's doing just fine. Careers advice is crucial. Why are so many schools poor at it? <laughs> With careers advice and guidance, I think um, schools are responsible for doing an awful lot of things and they do an awful lot of things incredibly well. Um, in teacher training, you can't expect anybody to know everything about um, all available careers that are out there, you know, even the careers guidance professionals um, who do it full time. So one of the things that we've done with Arch University Bournemouth that we think is incredibly important because the creative industries are booming at the moment, there's going to be loads more jobs coming up in those areas, is to provide a mechanism to get loads and loads of information about potential careers and job roles that perhaps young people might not have ever thought of. You know, how many times do you go to the cinema and you see the credits at the end and see all of those job titles rolling past um, things like online editor and, and wonder what exactly is involved in that. This app that we've created, Archie University Bournemouth, Wonder What, is an easy way for any student to be able to find out information about a whole range of different careers in the creative industries based on their interests and the things that appeal to them at the moment. Does it also work for... Uh, recruitment, as it were, so that, that if, uh, I don't know, the BBC or GB News or, 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 or News International was looking for people in particular areas, can that go on the app as well and say, you know, if you've just qualified as a brilliant camera person or a photographer or whatever, here's one that might suit you? That joining up, Alistair, is really, really important. And we know with the, the BBC recently, they've announced that they want to um, increase the number of people from working class or low socioeconomic backgrounds in their workforce by 25%. We know as the creative industries as a whole, we'd need about a quarter of a million more individuals from working class backgrounds for it to be reflective of the society that it serves. Um, this app is a first step but it's only a first step. Um, Archie University Bournemouth, you know, the whole reason I'm employed as a staff member is because we want to be a driving force for change in the sector. So we want more individuals from underrepresented or working class backgrounds coming to the university um, and studying and going on into those types of professions. And the only way that we can do that is to increase the knowledge of what's available. You know, with the media industry, for example, a lot of people find out about the different roles or how to get in through friends. Or, or contacts that already work in the industry. Um, and we want to stop that. We want to demystify it. We want everybody to have all of the access to the relevant information that they need to be able to frame going on to a career in the media or art as an expectation if it's something that's right for them. Um, you know, if you don't know anything about a particular career, it can seem very risky. And we need to minimise that risk and give young people the tools to be able to make those informed decisions. Are you getting a positive response from the, from the existing, I mean, the big giants, but also small emerging companies within the industry to, to help inform the app, as it were, with the work that you're doing at the Arts University? But to say, look, you know, we at BBC, we at ITV, we at GB News, here's some information that might not, not, not just because I want someone to employ, but here's how it works and here's what we could do. I used to be a governor at Ravensbourne College and some of the tech people, particularly Sony, were utterly brilliant at that. 
Yeah, absolutely. And and it is, um, it's key points in a journey, isn't it? And we do an awful lot of work with employers. Um, we're very plugged in with third sector organisations like the Social Mobility Foundation as well, who do a fantastic amount of work with their um, Social Mobility Employers Index. And it is about linking up those individual students with those um, opportunities, you know, whether it be through paid internships that we managed to secure um, through the, the summer um, for students who are currently at university or working with employers and our partners to transfer the knowledge about the industry down into the school classroom if we're working in partnership with secondary schools or colleges um, within the region. Also, finally, Alex, teaching them how to set up their own business because I know, having been in, the, having been in this game for, blimey, over 40 years, that one of the biggest differences now is that when I started, everybody went to work for one of the big companies, whether it was a broadcaster or print media, it didn't matter. Everybody went, they did their training, they did their apprenticeship, all the rest of it. Nowadays, I keep bumping into brilliant young men and women who've come out of Arts University or Ravensbourne or wherever it might be, and they set up their own business. They are vloggers, they are bloggers, they're post-production people. They're, they're just doing the most amazing stuff. Are you guiding them in that journey as well? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, the portfolio career, um, as it were, and, and freelance work is absolutely huge within the creative industry. So as a university, um, we do a lot to, to equip young people coming into us with um, the entrepreneurial type skills, I guess, that they'd need in order to be successful um, in partnership with an awful lot of organisations. But something else that we're, we're really big on is, is the transferable skills that come from a career in the creative industries. You know, myself, I did a drama degree um, in Wolverhampton back when I was a student. I was never going to be a Hollywood film star. Uh, I would have liked to have been, of course, but unfortunately, that's um, not the way that my career went. Um, but what I did learn is teamwork public yeah. speaking, you know, having a TV interview with yourself, Alistair, and being able to do that comfortably and effectively. All of these key skills that as technologization increases, um, the workforce becomes more automated, that are actually the fundamental attributes that are going to be driving not just the creative industries, but the economy as a whole, um, and making sure we all can thrive yeah. and flourish. So I think um, that's a really Alex. important part of why we care about this as well. It's utterly brilliant. Gold dust. I've said that twice this morning, but it's exactly what I wanted this programme to do today. Guide young folk to a better future, those who are out of work into a better future as well. I wish you all the very best of luck down at the Arts University in Bournemouth. And thank you for finding time for me this Saturday afternoon. Dr Alex Blower there. Got gotcha, mate. Uh,